who is the image, Christ, of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. If he's the image of the invisible God, then the kingdom of his dear son is the kingdom of God. He's the image. Now, he's talking about the physical shape. That is the man. There's one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. What is the man? He's the invisible, he's the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. Now, in Hebrews chapter 1, you're told the same thing, that Christ is the image of God. And again, the new Bibles will fool with the verse in Hebrews 1. Now, I know many of you people don't have time to check all this stuff, but that means the death of the nation. You're supposed to check it. I don't care if you're a ditch digger or you're a president, you're supposed to check it and check it daily. Daily bread. And people don't. So they get Bibles that aren't Bibles at all, and away goes the country with them. Who is the image? That began in 1901. We call that the beginning of the Laodicean apostasy. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? In what sense? In the sense of verse 18. Look at it. He, referring to Jesus Christ, is the head of the body, referring to the body of Christ. Uh, the church. The church, then, is not the Roman Catholic Church. The church, then, is not the Baptist Church. The church is Christ's body. It's made up of saved people, and they come from all kinds of professions. But if they're saved, they're in Christ, and Christ is in them, and he's the head of the body and the church. Who is the beginning? The firstborn. What is it? The firstborn from the dead. He's the first man that's born in this world that doesn't stay dead. He comes up. He's the first one and the last one that comes up and without dying and never will die again. The firstborn. So he says back in the other passage, verse 16, By him were all things created that, that had life. And it isn't just the things down on the ground that are in heaven. That is, he created the angels and that are in the earth. There's two-legged and four-legged, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones, he created them. Whether they be dominions, he created them. Whether principalities or powers, he created them. Now memorize this. All things were created by Jesus Christ and for him. Verse 16. That means about half the Christians in the world who profess to know him don't really know him like they, the Bible pictures him. He says, Jesus Christ is before all things, and by all by him all things consist. What? Visible or invisible? And they were created not only by him, but for him. That's why he's going to be your judge at the last judgment. The judge the last judgment to judge men has to be a man. To properly judge men, you take somebody like uh or somebody like Allah, he wouldn't know what it was like to judge a man fairly because he never was a man. What would he know about it personally? Nothing. He'd know about it from watching it and understanding it, but not from being cussed and not from being killed like Christ was. All things were created by Jesus Christ and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. That's every atomic structure in the universe. By who? By Jesus Christ. The Son of God, verse 15, verse 13. Now that's why the book says, and it says it very clear, every knee shall bend, every head shall bow, every tongue, every, every, you're no exception, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to glory the God the Father. He is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body. The Pope's not the head of anything. Christ, the head of the church, is Jesus Christ, right in front of your face. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn of from the dead. You take uh, Moses came up from the dead, and he's going to shorten the tribulation again, then die again. You take uh, Elijah, he had not died yet, he's caught up, but he's going to die in the tribulation. Christ is the first one, the first one that goes down from the dead and comes back up and doesn't go back down again. Lazarus dies twice. You ever think about that? The widow named son died twice. 
Tabitha, the little Jewish girl, died twice. The woman that Peter raised from the dead in Genesis, in uh, Acts chapter 9, died twice. Not Christ, he's the firstborn of the dead. And he doesn't die again. For it pleased the Father that in him all fullness would dwell. Christ himself.